Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Da -na -na. <laughs> So I just finished filming this video and I forgot that I didn't do an intro. So, hello my shoddy bays, hello my besties. In this video I'll be reading Unravel Me, Woo! and then the Unite Me novellas, which includes Destroy Me and Fracture Me. Non-spoiler, the entire thing until the very end. So, enjoy! <laughs> hey, guess who's back? Back again. Larry's back. Tell a friend. So this novella, I guess, has Destroy Me and Fracture Me in it. So I just have to read Destroy Me, and then I have to pause and read Unravel Me, and then I have to go back and read the other novella. And I've already read Shatter Me, the one right there. You guys know. So here we go. It's fun because I don't know anything about these novellas. Like, it's only 100 pages. Whose POV is it even in? It doesn't even say a name. It just says prologue. The first sentence says, I've been short. <laughs> I've been short. Wait, whose POV is this? Hello? Oh my god, is it Warner's? <gasps> yes, Peroni, it is. Ah, how exciting. Y'all, I think I figured out why I already like Warner, even though he has been nothing but a dick. It's because he reminds me of Klaus Michelson and Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> That's literally the only reason like I'm picturing Anakin as I'm reading and he has the mannerisms in the style of Klaus Two of my favorite fictional men ever. He's also kind of funny too. Like <laughs> This guy goes sir, please. Can you hear me? And he goes I've been short. I haven't gone deaf <laughs> Okay, who was gonna tell me that Warner is such a fashionista? Look at this He says that he doesn't feel like himself until he's fully dressed It's a part of who I am and how I begin my day and like his closet is fully organized, like socks, gloves, scarves, coats, slacks, blazers, boots. What? Okay. Move out of the way, Kendall Jenner. We've got a new model in town and his name is Aaron Warner. <laughs> I'm already having so much fun with this novella. It's only 100 pages. I'm going to finish right now. Wow, I just got roasted by Aaron. I literally just got roasted. Please look at this. Somebody offers him a coffee and he was like, why would I want that? He goes, I'm perfectly capable of keeping my eyes open. Only an idiot would rely on energy of a bean or a leaf to stay awake throughout the day. I'm an idiot. Yo, he literally said, I'm happy to have her clothes even if it hurts. When he is down so bad, he literally watches her count to 4,572. It took her five hours. And he just sat there, watching. <laughs> I don't know whether to be impressed, whether to be amazed, or to be like, what is wrong with you? I'm, I'm not really sure where the line is, but when it's Warner, the line for some reason just seems to be a little blurred. I'm telling y'all, the Klaus Michelson and Anakin Skywalker effect. Oh, he's so dramatic. <laughs> he like finds her diary and he's like, if the diary is gonna have like her discussing her feelings for Kent, I might just throw myself out of the window. <laughs> All of these characters are so dramatic and you know what? Same. I love how mean he is. He literally tells the soldier, deliver your message and then memorize this one. Do not ever speak to me again. <laughs> Y'all, this is me as fuck. This girl is destroying me. Of course, this is the girl I would fall for. <laughs> I'm obsessed with just how deeply he feels the diary entries. Like, he's reading it and feeling her pain. And then when he reads her saying, like, I don't know what's happening to me. I'm so sad. He literally collapses. He falls to his knees and he goes, God, Juliet. What is happening to me? Being in his mind, I will say, is so fucked up in the best way. Like, his mind is really intriguing and sad and also funny. There's just a lot of layers there. It's like an onion. Something I discovered about Warner while reading the Destroy Me novella is that he likes to take long baths. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I just found my favorite thing in this entire novella. I just found it. He just tried coffee. He just tried it. He literally said, you're always going on about your coffee, aren't you? Like, where is it? I want to try it. And then he does. And he keeps taking another sip. Remember when you called me an idiot and a fool, sir? Look at you now. Who's the fool now? Sometimes I have to remember that, like, this is paper. I have officially finished the Destroy Me novella. Now I have to pause this. 
because I can't read the Fracture Me novella until after Unravel Me. Thoughts on this one though. I don't rate novellas anymore because since novellas have never really been my thing, I would always rate them like two stars or something even when I enjoyed it and that didn't seem fair. So I just don't rate it. I just mark it as finished. So no rating for this. But I did really, really love it. I loved being in his mind. I think that's really important. I don't think you should skip it. I know that a lot of people are like, oh, you can just go into Unravel Me. I don't think you should because being in his mind was really, really cool. And it, it gave a lot of background to shatter me and to what he's thinking. And it was also really fun and funny and really, really quick. Destroy me. I have been destroyed. I'm kidding. I'm fine. Unravel me time, y'all. I'm so excited to be starting this. Yes, I literally started it a little while ago, like last month, and I read a couple chapters, but because I like took a little break from it, I want to go back and read it again, refresh my mind, start over, because I don't like to just like pick up where I left off, so I'm going to do that now. I do have my espresso, worry not. I also have these Nutella biscuits. They are so fucking good, so fucking good, life-changing, like literally having these with an espresso amazing i'm very excited to see warner again I, I am on to see my husband i'm happy i'm happy to see my husband i will say y'all adam is kind of cute he's kind of sweet ew adam is so annoying you know what i'm wondering is castle good or bad because i'm not gonna lie he kind of gives me president snow vibes from hunger <laughs> Also, <laughs> Kenji is so fucking funny. I feel like he's going to be my favorite in this series. He is hilarious. He he is me and I am him. We are connected. We are one. Literally what's happening? Like actually what's going on? I've read 50 pages. Where the fuck is Warner? Where? Because he's not in these... Hello? Where are the 50 pages? Hold on. Because he's not in these 50 pages that I've read so far. Look, I've read, th I've read this much. No sign of the man. No sign. No sign. I was on to see my husband, but I've been taking quite a while to get there. Where are you? Where are you? I am bored. I am. I have reached chapter 11 and I'm going to stop here for today. I don't really have any updates, so toodaloo. What's one woodle plus another woodle? Toodles. <laughs> that was a Brooklyn Nine-Nine joke, okay? I didn't come up with that. <laughs> I'd honestly love to give you guys an update. I would love to give you thoughts, comments, concerns, but I'm gonna be honest, I have none. In my defense, I have none. I just realized that I'm making this clip saying that I have nothing to say. Like, how redundant and unnecessary. Cut to the next clip. This is such a waste of your time, I'm sorry. Adam and Juliet are being really cutie patooties right now. I'm really liking the vibes. They're being very cute. Warner is my man, let's not get it twisted. But Adam and Juliet are growing on me. They're cute. They're, they're being adorable or whatever. I actually feel so bad for them. I feel so bad for Adam and, and Juju Bean. Let me never call her that again. <laughs> what would their ship name be, Adam and Juliet? I don't even want to give them one because I'm not a fan, but it would be Jam. Why are you the way that you are? What's uh, Warner's and Juliet's? That sounds way better. Warnet? Is that right? I'm team one up, baby. I feel bad for them, but like not all that much. I just don't care. That's the thing. Adam, I just don't care. I am on chapter 20 and we just had our first Warner sighting. Our first Warner sighting. He was in fact petting a dog. Yay. I'm not going to say I enjoyed Kenji putting Juliet in her place and yelling at her a little bit, but I enjoyed it because I feel like it needed, it needed to be done. She needed that. And she even said it. She's like, I, I needed that. <laughs> She's like, I was humbled and I needed it. <laughs> I love Juliet. I love Juliet. She's such a baddie, but at the same time, she's very sensitive, which I like. I like seeing that. And she has a lot of emotions, but she is still so powerful. I don't know. She has everything about her. It's perfect to me. <laughs> Sometimes Juliet says things and I'm like, why? This literally is a quote. Are you ready? Sometimes I wonder about glue. No, like same. Like me too, Juliet. Sometimes I do wonder about glue. No one ever stops to ask glue how it's holding up. <laughs> if it's tired of sticking things together, or worried about falling apart, or wondering how it'll pay its bills next week. Kenji is kind of like that. He's like glue. 
How did that get emotional? How did that get deep? We're talking about glue. That was one of my favorite quotes of all time. Adam is literally so dramatic. I'm gonna need him to stop. I'm gonna need him to just stop being everything that he is. <laughs> Kenji just told Juliet she's the opposite of acceptance. <laughs> and I don't know why that gets me, but that gets me. I love Kenji. I love Kenji. Kenji and I were like this. When he's never begged his father for anything before, anything since he was like nine years old. And guess what he begged him for? To keep Juliet alive. He begged him for that. He begged. When he doesn't want you to die. How cute. Literally, Adam, stop. Stop. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? I just realized that she figured out his name is Aaron. Just now. This exact moment. She just figured out his name is Aaron. She was calling him Warner this whole time. That just hit me. I think it was also supposed to be a shock to the viewers. The viewers. <laughs> the readers. But I'm not shocked because obviously I know his name's Aaron Warner. Like, let me be honest, somebody commented on one of my videos once and they were like, how did you know his name was Aaron? Like, they haven't told you in the book yet. And I'm like, he is literally the most, like, popular book man ever. Obviously, I know his name's Aaron. Like, I knew his name was Aaron before I even knew what Shatter Me was. <laughs> he just told his father, shoot her and I will put a bullet through your skull. <laughs> when he's willing to sacrifice his dad for you. What the fuck? What? The actual fuck. I just finished chapter 38. What? Literally, mind blown. I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. But I didn't. Y'all, literally, he read one of her journal entries about people chasing her and how it made her feel. And look what he said. I couldn't sleep for days after I read that entry. I kept wanting to know which people were chasing you down the street, who it was you were running from. I wanted to find them and I wanted to rip their limbs off one by one. I wanted to murder them in ways that would horrify you to hear. Mur, murder, yes. The standard. I'm eating as I finish Unravel Me, y'all. I'm eating like this chili mac and cheese thing. My tummy is gonna hurt later, but I'm excited because it's about to taste so good. Adam is annoying me yet again. Adam, you whiny little bitch. This is one of my favorite things ever. What did he say? Hold on, I'm gonna show you. Ready? She comes into his room and he like doesn't have his pantalones on and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm very flattered, love, but you could have at least given me a chance to put my pants on. <laughs> I'm very flattered, love. She's like talking to him and he goes, are you saying that you want to be my friend? <laughs> and then he goes, I would like that very much to be your friend. I'd like that. <laughs> Siri, play It's Nice to Have a Friend by Taylor Swift. <laughs> I am on to see my husband. <laughs> he asked her if she likes Shakespeare and she says, all I know about him is that he stole my name and spelled it wrong. <laughs> that has no business being so funny. This is one of my favorite quotes. This is literally one of my favorite quotes. Hell is empty and all the devils are here. I literally wanted to get that tattooed on me for such a long time and now I see that he has tattooed on him. So maybe we should get matching tattoos. She goes, you cannot avoid killing people, Warner. And he says, I love it when you say my name. I don't even know why. Warner isn't your name, your name is Aaron. And he smiles and he goes, God, I love that. And she says, your name? And he goes, only when you say it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am down bad. I'm literally gonna throw myself off a cliff. I'm going to run into ongoing traffic. This is amazing. This is amazing. As bored as I was in the first half, I'm now super entertained. I'm so unwell. Aaron Warner fucking supremacy. I don't know how I'm gonna survive the rest of the books. I really don't because I'm barely surviving this one. He said I want to be your best friend in the entire world. <laughs> you destroy me. You destroy me. I want to be the friend you fall hopelessly in love with. <laughs> Julia is literally just like me for real. She's so dramatic. Look what she said. He's literally telling her all these sweet things. And you know what she says? She's literally talking to herself. And I drop dead all over the floor. I can't understand why I can still hear him speaking because I'm dead. I'm already dead. I've died over and over again.
No, because same. Literally same. What the fuck? What the fuck? I was just so happy. I was just so happy. What happened? How did this happen? What the fuck? My heart is broken. My heart shattered. I just died dead all over the floor. Just like Juliet earlier, that's me now in a bad way. Literally what's happening? Literally what is happening? Shit is going down. Shit is going down. I'm yelling timber. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. What the fuck? Maybe they see what I see, the desperation in his expression, the way he looks at me like he might die if I do. To the heart. Wow, finally. That fucking ending. Finally. Finally. I'm I'm obsessed. My girl said stand up. Yes. 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 That ending screamed power. I'm so fucking excited for Ignite Me. I could cry. I'm gonna start Ignite Me right away. Literally immediately. Oh wait. I have to read the other novella. <laughs> I'm gonna go read the other novella. I fucking loved this. I loved this. I'm gonna give it a 4.25 because I was very bored at the beginning. The first half had me snoozing. I was asleep, okay? But the second half really, really got me. It picked up, Warner showed up, and shit changed. You know what I mean? My brain chemistry was altered. That ending was everything I wanted and more. I'm obsessed. I'm starting to find more things out. Everything's starting to make sense. So 4.25. I really, really enjoyed this. It's just that the first half is very boring. <laughs> what the fuck? I just opened this and as if I haven't suffered enough, the second novella is from Adam's POV. What the fuck? Why didn't anybody tell me this? No. Ugh. Fracture me? More like kill me. <laughs> oh, I'll never love anyone the way I love this kid. His relationship with James is actually very cute. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get our girl back. My girl, I correct him. She's my girl. And then Kenji goes, right. Minus the part that she's not actually your girl. <laughs> Say it louder for the Adam in the back because he's not listening. That was that. That was the world's most boring novella in the entire world. Why did I even read that? I don't know. Um, do I care about Adam? Not at all. Do I care about Adam after reading that novella? No, not at all. Still no. Nothing new. Nothing crazy happened. As much as Destroy Me was the best novella I've ever read, Fracture Me was the worst novella I've ever read. Yay for that. Good thing I don't rate novellas because or else that would be like a one star. <laughs> Y'all, I'm finishing up my skincare and I'm literally gonna tell you my thoughts on these books as I do that. Here we go. So Destroy Me and Fracture Me, I'm not rating because they're novellas. Like I said, I don't rate novellas anymore, but Unravel Me. I feel like that's what we have to discuss. This one, oh, this one I rated 4.25 stars. I really, really loved it besides the first half. Like first half, didn't care. Second half, adored. And I pretty much talked about everything non-spoiler that I could. So let me give you some spoiler thoughts now. If you have not read these, skip this part. It'll be the end of the video anyway. You won't be missing anything besides my spoiler thoughts. So if you haven't read it, skip it now. I'm gonna start spoiling. Are you ready? Brothers. Them being brothers really shook me. I don't know why I never thought of that. Like Adam is Warner's brother. What the fuck? I literally don't know why that didn't come to me because that's like the classic Star Wars twist that you know somebody is someone's father or someone is, is someone's sibling. That always crosses my mind in books, but for some reason it didn't in this one. I don't know why. I wasn't on my A game, but then being brothers, all of a sudden, Juliet relates to Elena Gilbert so much. <laughs> Warner coming in only at the end of Unravel Me, so funny to me because I was like, I'm on to see my husband. And then he's like, I'll be there, but like at the end. <laughs> Also, I will say, I don't know why everybody hates Adam. Like, same. I also hate Adam. But I hate Adam in the sense that I'm just bored by him. I feel like people hate him, like, really hate him. And that I don't get because I don't feel that towards him. He just bores me. That's it. Like, he just annoys me. Also, y'all, when Juliet is, like, dying at the end and Warner saves her, that is literally my favorite scene I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, it is my favorite ever. When she literally says this quote right here, I can't help but think that this is an interesting parting gift from the world, that at least in the end, I didn't die alone. Literally amazing. Like, I don't know how she went from absolutely hating Warner to being like, I don't hate you anymore. I don't know how we got here, if I'm being honest. It wasn't like that much gradually. It was just kind of like she let go of all the hate for him. I'm not complaining, but how did it happen? I don't know, but I'm loving it. I'm so excited for Ignite Me because now obviously everyone thinks Juliet is dead. Nobody knows she's alive besides Warner and the two girls that are captured there with them. I feel like now it's gonna be them burning down the world, which is exactly what I wanna see. So, yes please, I had a great fucking time. I definitely wouldn't skip the novellas if I were you. Um, I think they were important. Even though the second one was like fucking boring as hell, it was still important. <laughs>
<laughs> they're really fast anyway, so like it's not like you're wasting that much time. See you in my next Shatter Me video. I'll be reading Ignite Me next. Don't worry, I'm still vlogging the whole thing. Yay! I'll read Ignite Me next month. And right at the beginning of next month. Because I have a lot to do this end of the month. I won't be able to vlog it. The beginning of next month, you'll catch me reading Ignite Me. I love you so much, my besties. I hope you have such a good day.